and sit back and watch this video. What I'm going to talk about is America. There are many people who think that America is declining. America's on the decline. Yes, there's this feather on my car. America is not on the decline. Nope. The rest of the world is just catching up. That's what's going on. And it's kind of messing up some people. Watch this video. I'm going to give you some strategies, some mindset game on how you can not be one of those people left out of the American dream. It isn't that the American dream is dead. It isn't that it's not attainable. It's just the rules of engagement have that vastly changed. And a lot of people don't know these rules and they're still trying to apply old school, old rules to this newfangled thing. And it ain't working out. That's the problem. Many people that think the American dream is dead. The chances for upward mobility are slim to none. You can't send your kids to college. Your retirement looks bleak. Here's something you should consider. Currently, America is more fair than it's ever been in its current 400 years of existence. Right now, men, women, black people, white people, Asian people, Hispanics, queer, gay, transgender, all these people have a shot at the American dream. And that is what the problem is because America is competitive. It is not white boy, good old boy network competitive. It is who has the best skills, the best talent, the best game, the best salesmanship. That's who wins. And it's not the typical all American white boy. That's the problem. You have many people who think that because they are struggling that the American dream is dead. Nothing can be further from the truth. What is going on is now they have to compete with people that they don't have the current marketable skills. That's what's going on. That's why Trump's in office. And speaking of that, these immigrants taking American jobs, these immigrants stealing American jobs, Currently, there are businesses across the United States of America that are going out of business because Americans will not take these jobs that due to the reduction in HB2 visas that the Trump administration has put into place, no Americans are going to fill those jobs. These people are going out of business. These businesses are closing. People are losing their jobs. Farms are going bankrupt. People are losing businesses that have been the family for generations. But Americans who feel that is these immigrants, these pesky, job stealing, nasty, criminal immigrants were just messing up the country. If it wasn't for immigrants, America would not be what it is. And a lot of people don't want to accept this uncomfortable truth. Going forward, America will continue to be fair, more competitive, meaning that everyone has to compete. Everyone needs to bring their A game. Everyone has got to sit up and take notice and put not only their best foot forward, their best brain, their best mouthpiece, their best salesmanship, their best everything just to get into the door. America is not declined, not at all. The rest of the world is catching up. That's what you see. And many people feel because you cannot make this amazing two to three to four or five or even six social economic leap from being dry dick Danny to being paid Percy. I've made that six, seven level leap. I grew up in the house with no running water. I grew up in the house where in the middle of the night, if you had to use the bathroom, you had to go out through the kitchen, through the back porch, down the stairs, through the garden to use an outhouse. Now I live in a house with four bathrooms. The American dream is alive, it is well, but if you don't have any skill sets, it's like a suitcase with $10 million at the bottom of the sea. It's there, it's real, but if you don't have the tools to access that suitcase, it might as well not even exist. I'm trying to go for the Morpheus Matrix Act. 
let me know how I did. Amazing opportunities. But many people cannot see these opportunities. They cannot access these opportunities. They cannot take part of these opportunities because they simply do not have the uh, tools. They don't have the markability. Now, how did this happen in the greatest country in the world? Yes, at some point, China will replace the United States as an economic leader, as a producer. China is where it's going. It'll probably be 20 to 30 years. It may happen in our lifetime. Right now, America has the greatest GDP times four of anyone else, even of our closest competitor. American universities are top notch. Now the problem is, and this is why many people are unprepared, is the post elementary, junior high school, high school education. That's the problem. Right now we have people who are being passed along. Back in my day, you know, in the dinosaur age, if you didn't get your lesson, if you didn't do the things that you needed to do to pass to the next grade, they held you back. But due to shame, we don't do that to people anymore. We don't want to permanently damage their self-esteem. I know quite a few people who got left back. I have a friend, we used to call him Scrap. He got left back, not once, but two times. And when we were leaving Adamsville Elementary School, he was going to be held back in the sixth grade. So he lost two years and he saw all of us leaving. He saw tail lights and that awakened something to him. He wasn't stupid. He just didn't give a damn. Now scrap the guy that got left back two years. He's an attorney. Part of the problem that we have today is we want to give everyone a participation trophy. Just showing up, you get a trophy, you get to feel good about yourself. That's not good enough. That's not even close to good enough. What it's going to do is leave many people unprepared and exposed because there are a ton of six figure jobs and there's quite a few seven figure jobs for the people who have the skills. There are jobs that they cannot fill because they don't have people with the appropriate skill sets to take these jobs right now, r today. I know the school system was part of it, but that isn't enough. We have become passive. We've become very, very complacent. For my hotep brothers out there, many of you are not trying to end white supremacy. Many of you are trying to find a better place in it. Hence the reason that you are a black revolutionary with a job from the white man. And to many of my American white sisters and brothers, who are frustrated, who feel that these nasty, pesky, dirty, criminal immigrants are taking your jobs. That's not the case. You just don't have the skill sets to compete. And due to racism, Jim Crow, and other racist policies instituted by our government, you've gotten ahead with no competition. Now you have competition. Many of you are moving out of neighborhoods with very high Asian student populations because literally these Asian students are kicking your white sons and daughters asses academically. They don't even play sports. So part of the problem is many people became very complacent, got comfortable with the way things were because it was easy and good for them. They didn't have to do much, didn't have to raise a finger for them to do well for their parents and also our government had a racist policy of not doing mortgages to black people. If you don't believe me, Google it. Third party identification, third party references, knock yourself out. Now here is where things start to get interesting because we're getting more competitive, but more fair. There's only a certain amount of jobs. Now part of the problem, and it is a problem, Many white males had the best pick of any job for many years. Then they had to compete with white females for those jobs. And now in many sectors, white females outpace, outearn, and out educated than more white men. 
It's a common educational situation across all color lines. And this is what's happening because you have these degreed, these professional white women who don't have comparable mates. So this creates a dating dilemma. She ain't gonna date down, bruh. She may date laterally, but she definitely will date up, but she ain't dating down. So this has created broken families. The nuclear family is dissipating year by year. So now you don't have a girl, you don't have a wife, you have low income, you don't have the skill sets to compete for the high income jobs and your romantic life sucks. What's happening is many of you are becoming dependent upon drugs because you're becoming addicts to dull the pain because you can't get your woman, you can't out earn her and now you're mad. But once again, you are not to blame because no one's to blame. Essentially, America's become more fair. America has become or is becoming the country of the great promise it's always had and it's happening more and more every day. This is what's going on and we'll work it out and men will adjust and women will adjust. But in the meantime, in the between time, there will be carnage. There will be blood in the streets, blood in the bedrooms, blood in the boardrooms and blood in the workplace. You're going to see some crazy stuff the next 10 years. And, it's, and this has nothing to do with Trump. Whether Hillary was in office or not, this stuff is still going to happen. He's just kind of accelerated a little bit. How does one get out of this situation? That's what you want to hear. That's why you're watching this video. And I'm going to tell you, you must commit to lifelong learning. You cannot go to university, get a degree and sit on that and expect to make big money in the future. It's not going to happen. Number two, if you get married or partner, you need to partner with someone who is ambitious and hungry. Because if you partner with someone who is not, that's going to probably change your social economic class. You, and it's not going up, it's going down. And this goes for men and women. My dudes, and this is why I've built Disruptive Male, you've got to reclaim your leadership position and just saying that you're alpha and just working out in the gym all day, it's not gonna help. You're gonna actually gonna have to roll up your sleeves, get busy and participate in the American process and become leaders again. If not, your woman is gonna run for office, your woman's gonna be the VP or the president of the bank and she's got a different mindset because the women of the 1940s, 50s, 60s, 70s, they're gone and they're not coming back. Something else will replace that model but right now we have nothing. Now. You must get on your grind. I'm going to give you the four mandates. Number one, you need to be about your economics. Number two, you need to be about getting yourself healthy. What's the use in having money if you're broken down and can't enjoy it? Number three, you need to get your mental, mental or spirit. You have got to get on a program of rampant self development. You cannot play around with this gentleman. You cannot jack off with this because what's going to happen in this next recession, it's going to be cutting people down like dry grass on a hot summer day. And what I mean, people will die. People will become addicted. There will be a massive shuffling because America, the system, the great experiment that has said anyone can become great in America. It's about to change. We are in the beginning stages of a caste system. And if you don't make your moves in the next 10 to 15 years, your family may be forever in that permanent underclass. The way things are being designed, the way the people who are in that 9.9% are doing stuff. And the thing is, they're not doing it to be mean. They're doing it to protect their children and they don't really understand the far ranging consequences. You will not get any power by begging for it. You're not going to get any power by hoping for it. You're not going to get any power by just being a good person. It's not going to happen. You can vote Democrat all you want to, but I guarantee you that the money is always going to be in the same hands and where the money is, is where the power is. Many of the things that are happening right now are distractions. 
you need to keep your eye on the ball. You need to keep yourself put together and you need to get on your grind seven days a week. There's no time for vacations when you broke. You don't have no money in the bank. You got bad credit, but you want to take a vacation? Why? I don't understand that. You need to be about your business. If you got money in the bank, if your credit is straight, if you got a job and a side hustle and you want to take a vacation, I totally understand. You've earned it. You work your ass off. But if you're not in that situation and you're just taking vacations that don't make you any money, I just don't understand why you're doing it because all you're going to do is make it worse. Now, part of getting yourself together is you got to have this come to Jesus conversation with yourself. You need to be bluntly honest where you are fucked up. There is no time for any half stepping. There is no time for pretending. There is no time for you to be playing around. I estimate you got 10 to 15 years to jump up into two to three levels on your economic class because once this caste system firmly entrenches America, it's going to be hard for your kids and your grandkids to get out. Very, very hard. So what kind of business should you start? Great question. You should start one that you have a lot of expertise in and a high level of interest in. Many people go out here and start businesses that they don't give a shit about and wonder why they fail. If you get into who you are and whoever you may be, because I get this question all the time. Hey, Glendon, what should I do? I don't fucking know because I don't know you. I have no clue to who you are. What makes your heart beat? What makes your dick hard? I don't know. But I know this, if you don't get busy sourcing out that information, you're going to get left behind and it's going to be ugly. We have a shifting power class in this country because right now, Bernie, the 28 year old uh, socialist who won, all that is beautiful. It's great. It's wonderful. But does it make you any money? She can get up in Congress and do a wonderful job and she can impact public policy, but I guarantee you it is not going to trickle into any money into your pocket. You must address this distinctly and directly. So today, what I want you to do is to take out a sheet of paper and write at the top of this paper, what am I good at? Start there. Do not try to do what you see me doing. Do not try to follow someone else. Figure out what you are good at. Now, if you're a young person and you don't know, fair enough. Experiment. What this means is you're going to try to do some stuff, get as many experiences as possible, meet as many people as possible, travel. Along your journey, you're gonna find it. But if you just sit at home and play Xbox, you could be the 50-year-old Xbox champion living in your mama's or your daddy's basement if they allow it because their pension didn't get reduced by this upcoming recession and they ain't out and then they're out working and they ain't gonna let you live up in their house while they be working. Well, some parents will. I ain't that kind of parent. But anyway, take heed and understand the American dream is still alive, it's still possible, it's still attainable, but the rules have changed. You can no longer depend upon a pension. You can no longer depend upon lifelong employment. You can no longer depend on a 401k because what's going to happen after this recession is, and if you could study this, after we have a long, long period of economic expansion, then the recessions that come after tend to be closer together. So we're going to have this one, then we're going to have another one real quick. And depending on when you're trying to retire and your money's in the market player, it can literally be cut in half which means, you know, you need to stuff as much as they're in possible, I suppose. A new rule. Everyone is an entrepreneur, whether you want to be or not. I had this disagreement with Alpha M on the other channel and you ain't going to have no choice. Unless you somehow manage to get up in the government or some good government job, but they're going to be hard to get and they're going to be very competitive. Right now. It's competitive to work fast food. You ever notice that when you go into a fat fast food restaurant, the average age is 20 something. When I was a kid and I used to go to a fast food restaurant, virtually everybody in there was my age with one or two adult managers. 
And what you're going to see is that's going to continue to creep up. You're going to have 30 year olds, 40 year olds working fast food because that's the only job they can get before complete automation takes over. So I hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully I hit you with some knowledge because the real deal is the rest of the world's catching up. America ain't declined. Not at all. America's transforming socially, economically, and culturally. And this has just got people twisted. This has got people bugged out because they don't know what to deal. They don't know what to do with it. They don't know how to deal with it. Focus on your economics. Focus on your personal development. Focus on meeting people and having experiences. And the rest will take care of itself. But if you stay in the silo where it's just you or people who think like you in your echo chamber, you are going to be very surprised and it's going to be ugly. It's going to be very, very ugly because many folks are going to get caught with their shoes nailed to the floor and they're going to wonder what happened. I've made a lot of changes in my personal life and with my business. I've gotten rid of all debt and I am selling my place and moving because I feel that the real estate market is going to have a big crash and I don't want to get caught with this bird. So yeah, that's going to happen very, very soon. And you'll see me making more moves because you want to be like a ranger or a marine unit, small, quick, and nimble. You want to be able to make your moves very fast. You don't want to be encumbered and weighed down by a lot of stuff. You want to be able to seize opportunities because during this next recession, you will have new millionaires and billionaires created. And I hopefully that'll be you because I am planning on making some more money. I plan on getting much richer, like way richer. And I plan on doing my thing. So if you like the content, you like the video, be sure to subscribe, be sure to get your free audio book. And once again, today from 5 PM until tomorrow to 5 PM, you can get anything at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills for 71% off. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. I know that they watching me, trying to figure me out Like what's my life like, am I committed to vow? Perception is relying on what you trained your sight like So what you see is whatever gets permitted by your eyes, right? I'm guessing that it's okay if they follow me As long as they know that the praise is never known not to me No, not to be condescending my philosophy It's all that's represented should never become the god of me Pros become the cons, all that's kind of me But to become content with this content Leave room for the kind of pictures that in the concept Why you sit at the feet of beneath this monolithic object Not painted in the image of God, but chiseled in the image of flaw Sinners spitting redemption presented under a continual clause Covenant of the brothers pulling out the rug from under you all Standing on solid ground, mud can't hold a structure for long Let me ask what you're building on, corruption or the word of y'all Constructed a constellation with curse of universal wordsmith In six days I stand in awe of the seventh fallen worship Captured by the Sabbath as I chill with the Nazarene and I'm plug for the man that's the calf is golden hands open as they scream It's right as we walk through this land All we can feel is sand So we can feel Lord, will you take our hand Or you we stand When the water pours out
for boredom 